Next we're going to talk about conveyor bed assembly alignment to drum assembly alignment. For best performance of stock that's less than the drum width, you want to set your conveyor assembly up so it's parallel to your drum assembly. Adjust the drum parallel to the table if your stock is less than your drum width. For example, a 16-inch machine, your material is going to be less than 16 inches wide. You want to achieve parallelism between your drum and your conveyor table. The easiest way to do that would be to take two pieces of stock, label one right, one left, and run them through that side of the machine. Now that you've run the material through the machine, take a measurement and find out which side is thicker. For here, the, the right side is 719 thousandths and the left side is 758 thousandths. That is a difference of 29 thousandths from end to end on that drum. Now we need to make the adjustment to the conveyor table to ensure that it is parallel to the drum. Setting up a dial indicator like this off the base would be one way to do this. You loosen up your locking knobs here on the end of your conveyor assembly. At this point in time, we will raise the conveyor table 29 thousandths and lock the machine back down, or lock the conveyor back down. After we've run the material and readjusted your conveyor assembly to the proper height, we're gonna remove our dial indicator assembly here on the open end. We're gonna set that aside. Now we're gonna rerun the product again to ensure that your adjustment that you just made was 100% accurate. And we are right on the money. Absolutely perfect. When you're running stock wider than the drum width, we recommend that you open up the gap between the drum and the conveyor on the open end. We recommend it by five to seven thousandths. That is to combat the variance in the grit on the drum and keep it from cutting the groove down the center of the material. Pro tip here, take your board, line the backside with masking tape. This will raise the end that is closest to the drum just a fraction of an inch, five to seven thousandths. This is going to remove more material off of each side, less out of the center. Therefore, you don't need to readjust your conveyor assembly for a one or two piece project. 